Hello, hello, welcome to the game Great F Free or Flunk. So, this is a simple walkthrough, and I hope this will help you to understand the game more. So, we shall start now. A bit of an introduction of the background of this game. This game is about a boy named Alex, and he really likes to escape school. I mean, to skip school, not to escape it. And because of his bad attitude and bad habit to skip school without any reasons he was kidnapped and when he woke up he find himself trapped in a abandoned school so in order to escape he must solve a series of puzzles and riddles that we will get into later on in this game so the basic interactions are wasd to walk to go right left in front backwards and press f to toggle the torchlight and Press E to open and close the door and press X to toggle the school rules. There are a total of 5 levels and 6 questions to be answered which is classroom, art room, science lab, computer lab and the last one being basketball court. Follow the order of the rooms as above and complete each question in each room. Key in the code to the doors by following the guide given. Hints are available in the rooms to help you solve the questions. Well, it does sound easy but can we do it? Let's find out. So the first one is art room. Where is the art room? Okay, it's right here. Alright. So we have to complete all of the questions in the time given, which now we have 28 minutes left. So here is the classroom. We have to stand above the green circle to see the questions. So it is a lonely place in here. Wouldn't it be better if you had a partner? After all, two heads are better than one. Solve the equation below and find out what's x. So when you look at here, the equation does not make sense. So what we have to do is to make the equation make sense. And that is how we find x. So like the rules said, hints are available in the room. So we have to look for the hints in the room. And if we look at the walls, there are paintings. And at the paintings, there are patterns, which is the power of two. Example, this is 6 power of 2, this is 8 power of 2, and this is 2 power of 2, 3 power of 2, and I can only assume the same for this one, which is 4 power of 2. So, everything is power of 2 in these paintings. The question says, 2 heads are better than 1. So, if we make 1 power of 2 plus 4 power of 2 plus 8 power of 2 equals to 9 power of 2, it can only then make sense. So, in order to find x, we have to do the same for the last equation there. So, 6 power of 2 plus 9 power of 2 minus 1 power of 2 and minus 4 power of 2, we will get the answer in power of 2, which is 100. But that is not the final answer because the original form of the equations is a square root from the power of 2. So, what is the square root for 100? The square root for 100 is 10. After we get the final answer for the equation, we can go to the art room, which is down below. So remember the answer is 10, not 100. Write the answer twice. We have to write 10 two times. Alright, here we go. We close the door first. Okay. Being trapped in the dark for so long, you'd long to see this. Hopefully, you'd get up just in time. Just as you have been robbed of your freedom, someone had once steal this painting from the museum. When was the painting recovered and returned to the museum? So first of all, we have to determine what painting in this room represents most of the diagram we are given now and what year was the painting recovered and returned to the museum. So as you can see, a bit to the right from the middle there, we can see an orange dot on the top and a bit of a orange shade on the bottom. And if you look here, it represents most of the diagram we, just, we were just given. So, I will choose this painting and I will choose the year here, 1872. But what are these for? What are these color coded paintings for? So, we has just retrieved the year 1872 from this painting and if we look closely here the digits above the, the frame here 
represents the year we just retrieved. So one, eight, seven, two. And if you look closely, there are different stripes in each painting. I mean, in each colors here. So what do we have to do? Okay, so we have the year 1872, right? And we have the digits here representing the year we just retrieved. So we know that we have the right painting now. And what do we do with the information here? So what do we do is the, the number one in 1872, we have to substitute it with, we follow the different stripes here. One equals to one still, and eight equals to nine. So this one is a different number. So one is still one, eight becomes nine, seven, seven becomes nine, two, and two becomes zero. So 1872 equals to 1990, 1990. And after that, we can go to the science lab. Science lab. Alright, so the year, so the answer here is the year of the painting recovered and being sent to the museum which is 1990. Alright, so we have the right answer there. You must have quite a chemistry with this place to still be stuck in here. Imagine being the only one winning two awards in his field of studies. Who is this bloody genius? So. There are two periodic tables here. One is the original one and one is the one custom made for this game. We have to find the name of the person who won the two awards in his field of studies and the year of which he won it. So if you refer the first periodic, uh, periodic table, you will retrieve the years of when he won it. And if you refer the second periodic table, you will retrieve the name him itself you can only get the answers if you find it according to the color coded scheme which is the red color coded codes and then after we got the answer we go to computer lab so the answer for that just now is the the years of where he won the words were 1958 and 1980 and the name was Frederick Sanger where we're we going again we're going to the computer lab okay so the last two digits of the years the winner won the prize the last two digit of the years not year so there is two years there and one being 1958 and 1980 so the last two digits for them are 58 and 80 all right so this is the computer lab history was made when a computer system had beaten a human in a game what is the system called and which year did the match takes place for us to find the system we have to determine what game did the computer system had beaten a human in and just like that we found it is a chess game a board game that a lot of people know and a lot of people play so now that we know it is a chess game we can look on the internet for this answer and it is deep blue the name of the system that beat human in this chess game and the year that it took place was 1997 so deep blue and 1997 so the last one being basketball court okay let us go to the basketball court all right the initials of the system thing the last two digits of the year deep blue means db and the last two digits of the year which is 1997 and it goes to 97 all right here we go basketball court is your sixth sense strong enough decode this message in order to get to your next location so if you just look 
with your heart here and you can see that the message says need to go to right hall so you can just exit this basketball court we go to the hall and we go to the right and here it is laying the last question or the second last okay final escape tick tock tick tock the clock is ticking what number goes to y so it says here tick tock the clock is ticking and here is a picture of a clock and what are these patterns what are these angles so i can only assume that it is the needles of a watch yeah like this so if you look carefully here this is 54 and what does 54 have to do with these angles so if you look at the needles here and if you assume that these are clock needles this needle this needle here will lead to number nine and this needle here will lead to number six so how did you get 54 well nine multiplied by six is 54 and it does the same here so we can only assume that it is the clock needle and what about y so 12 and 6 what is 12 times by 6 it is 72 all right so we can assume that it is 72 and we go to the last passcode wow the first number or letter of each answer not code from question 1 to 4 and 6 so question 5 is excluded from this okay so the first number is the first answer was 10 so the first number being 1 and question 2 is 1990 it is still 1 question 3 the answer was Frederick Sanger and yeah F oh no capital F Frederick Sanger and question 4 deep blue 1997 we go with d for deep blue and the last one being 72 we put 7 all right so here we are we have escaped the school i hope this walkthrough helped you into completing this game and have a nice day